Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall take up questions related to division of polynomial by binomial. So the question is divide and write down the question and remainder. Also check your answer. Now these are the two questions which we are going to study in this video. Now long division of polynomial is same as long division of any other whole number. The three steps involved in long division process are first division, second multiplication and third subtraction. Now for checking our answer we shall use division algorithm. The equation is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now let us start with the first question. It is given divide y cube plus 5y square plus 12y plus 9 by y plus 2. Now both the dividend and divisor are in standard form. That means they are in the decreasing order of the powers of variable. That is 3, 2, 1, 0. So now we shall set our problem. y plus 2 that is our divisor will come outside and dividend that is y cube plus 5y square plus 12y plus 9 will come inside. Now we shall start with our first step that is division. We shall take up the first term of the dividend and divide it by the first term of the divisor to obtain the quotient that is y cube will be divided by y and we shall get y square. That is our question which we will write on the top. Another way of finding y square is you can think of a number what should be multiplied to y to get y cube. So that way also you will get y square. Now we shall uh, move to second step that is multiplication. So we shall multiply the quotient with the divisor that is y square will be multiplied by each term of the divisor y plus 2. So y square into y will be y cube and y square into 2 is 2y square. Now this product we shall write just below the first two terms of the dividend that is we have to write it in such a form that the like terms fall below each other. Now we shall move to third step of subtraction. So for that we shall first of all change the sign. So plus y cube will become minus y cube and plus 2y square will become minus 2y square. Now we shall subtract y cube minus y cube is 0 and 5y square and minus 2y square we shall get 3y square. Further we shall bring down 12y. Now this is the new dividend you can say which we have to solve using these three steps of division, multiplication and subtraction. We shall start with division first. So first of all, we shall take up 3y square and divide by y to get 3y. Or another way of finding 3y is what should be multiplied to y to get 3y square. So that way you can think of 3y as the answer. Now we shall move to second step of multiplication. So we shall multiply this new question that is 3y with the divisor that is y plus 2 and we shall get 3y square plus 6y because 3y into y is 3y square and 3y into 2 is 6y. Now the third step is of subtraction. So first of all we shall change the sign plus 3y square will become minus 3y square and plus 6y will become minus 6y. Now 3y square and minus 3y square is 0 because it's run cancel and 12y minus 6y is 6y. And further we shall bring down plus 9. Now this new dividend we have to solve using the three step approach once again. So 6y should be divided by y according to the first step and we shall get 6 as the new quotient which we will write on the top just next to y square plus 3y. Another way of finding 6 is what should be multiplied to y to get 6y. So that way also you can get 6. Now we shall move to second step of multiplication. So we shall multiply 6 with the each term of the divisor. So 6 into y is 6y, 6 into 2 is 12. We shall write this product just below the new dividend which we had got and move to next step of subtraction. First of all, we shall write minus sign below uh, 6y plus 12. That is the signs will change. 6y will become minus 6y and plus 12 will become minus 12. Now plus 6y and minus 6y will stand cancel. And 9 minus 12, we shall get the remainder minus 3. So over here, the question is y square plus 3y plus 6 and remainder is minus 3. 
Now let us check our answer using division algorithm for which we require four elements that is dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. Now the division algorithm says dividend should be equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now we shall put the values accordingly in this equation. So first of all dividend we shall write y cube plus 5y square plus 12y plus 9 is equal to divisor that is y plus 2 into question that is y square plus 3y plus 6 and plus remainder and remainder is minus 3. Now we shall write dividend once again y cube plus 5y square plus 12y plus 9 as it is and is equal to now we have to multiply binomial into trinomial so we shall take up the first term of the binomial that is y and multiply by three terms of the trinomial then we shall take up the second term of the binomial that is 2 and multiply by all these three terms of the trinomial so let us start y into y square we shall get y cube y into 3y we shall get 3y square y into 6y is 6y and 2 into y square is 2y square 2 into 3y is 6y 2 into 6 is 12 and minus 3 as it is now we shall write dividend uh, as it is in the next step y cube plus 5y square plus 12y plus 9 will come as it is equal to now we have to solve the like terms so we shall write y cube as it is plus 3y square plus uh, 2y square we shall get 5y square 6y plus 6y is 12y and 12 minus 3 is 9. Now if you observe the left hand side is exactly equal to right hand side so we can say our answer is correct we have satisfied the division algorithm so we, our answer is right. Now let us move to second question. It is given divide 8p cube minus 729 minus 108p square plus 486p by 2p minus 9. Now if you observe the dividend is not in standard form. That means it is not in the decreasing order of the powers of variable. So first of all we shall write in standard form. So we shall write 8p cube followed by minus 108p square plus 486p minus 729 now this is our dividend which is in standard form now we shall set our problem we shall write the divisor that is 2p minus 9 outside and dividend that is 8p cube minus 108p square plus 486p minus 729 inside now we shall start with the first step of division so we shall take up the first term of the dividend and divide it by the first term of the divisor that is 8p cube will be divided by 2p and we shall get the quotient 4p square that we will write on the top as quotient. Another way of finding 4p square is you can think of a number what should be multiplied to 2p to get 8p cube. So when you will multiply 2p into 4p square you will get 8p cube. Now we shall move to second step of multiplication. So we shall take up the first question which we have calculated in step 1 that is 4p square and multiply by each term of the divisor. So 4p square into 2p is 8p cube and 4p square into minus 9 is minus 36p square. Now this product we shall write just below the first two terms of the dividend and making sure that we write the like terms just below each other. So now we shall move to third step of subtraction. For that we shall first of all change the signs. So plus 8p cube will become minus 8p cube and minus 36p square will become plus 36p square. Now plus 8p cube and minus 8p cube will stand cancel and minus 108p square plus 36p square we shall get minus 72p square. And now further we shall bring down 486p. Now this is the new dividend which we have to solve using these three steps all over again. So first step is division. So we shall divide minus 72p square by 2p and we shall get minus 36p. Or you can think of a number what should be multiplied to 2p to get minus 72p square. That way also you will find that 2p into minus 36p is minus 72p square. Now we shall take up the second step of multiplication. So we shall multiply minus 36p with each term of the divisor that is 2p minus 9 
and we shall get minus 72 p square plus 324 p and further we shall move to third step of subtraction we shall first change the sign of these product which we have got that is minus 72 p square will become plus 72 p square and plus 324 p shall become minus 324 p now minus 72 p square and plus 72 p square will cancel with each other and 486 p minus 324 p we shall get 162 p further we shall bring down minus 729 now this is the new dividend 162 p minus 729 which we have to solve using the three steps so first step is division so we shall divide 162 p by 2 p and we shall get new quotient 81 which we will write on the top second step is multiplication so we shall take up the new question that is 81 and multiply by each term of the divisor so 81 into 2p we shall get 162p and 81 into minus 9 we shall get minus 729 so this product we shall write just below the new dividend and we shall move to third step of subtraction first of all we have to change the signs so plus 162p will become minus 162p and minus 729 shall become plus 729. Now further plus 162p and minus 162p will stand cancel and minus 729 and plus 729 will also stand cancel and we shall get the remainder 0. So over here the question is 4p square minus 36p plus 81 and remainder is 0. Now let us check our answer using division algorithm for which again we require 4 elements that is dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder and all these 4 elements we already have. And now the division algorithm says that dividend should be equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now we shall put the values. First of all, the dividend is 8p cube minus 108p square plus 486p minus 729, which is equal to divisor that is 2p minus 9 into quotient that is 4p square minus 36p plus 81 plus 0 is the remainder. Now in the next step, the dividend will come as it is on the left hand side and we have to solve on the right hand side, we have to solve the binomial into trinomial so we shall multiply first of all 2p that is the first term of the binomial with all the, the three terms of the trinomial and then we shall take up the second term of the binomial that is minus 9 and we shall multiply by all these three terms of the trinomial. So let us start first of all we shall multiply 2p with all the three terms. So 2p into 4p square is 8p cube. 2p into minus 36p is minus 72p square. 2p into 81 is 162p and minus 9 into 4p square is minus 36p square minus 9 into minus 36p is 324p minus 9 into 81 is minus 729. Now in the next step we will write the dividend as it is on the uh, left hand side and on the right hand side we have to solve the like terms. So first of all we shall write 8p cube minus now 72p square minus 36p square we shall get minus 108p square and 162p plus 324p we shall get 486p and minus 729 as it is we shall write on the right hand side. Now if you observe the right hand side is exactly equal to the left hand side that is our dividend. So we can say our answer is correct because we have satisfied the division algorithm. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the video and understood these two questions related to division of polynomials by binomial using long division method and also we have checked the our answer using division algorithm. So please do like and subscribe my channel if you liked my video and give your true feedback in the comment section. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you everyone.